So if you are a yarny person who would like to get yarn as a gift, this might be the video for you to share with a loved one. Or if you are looking to buy yarn for a loved one, this could be the video for you. I thought I'd just pop on here real quick and kind of informal and let you know. Um, I'm packing up a gift for someone. I went shopping today. It is not a holiday. It just happened to be the Hobby Lobby annual yarn clearance. So my gift is a little different because the recipient um, knows about the sale. She has not been hiding under a rock or anything. So um, this will be um, fun for her, but it's not like it's a holiday or anything. Um, so I just wanted to share a couple quick tips with you if you're wanting to buy some yarn for a loved one. The first tip is going to be um, know their preferred store. Some people are very particular um, about what the, where their yarn comes from, stores, policies, that type of stuff. So um, generally, if you're just listening to your loved one, you, you should already know that. Um, so number one would be what store they prefer. Number two is what are you, what's your person's favorite colors? Um, if they happen to have yarns that they continually gravitate towards, you will probably be seeing them use them. So you, you probably already have a good idea um, about the colors. The second is a little bit trickier if you're not a yarn person. It is going to be what weight the yarn is. So, um, since I was looking for my friend, I happen to know that she does frequently use um, DK um, Lightweight 3 um, yarn. So that was not a problem. If you were buying me yarn, I probably would prefer higher, you know, thicker than that. But um, so just, just know the weights. And if you're not sure, probably never buy your loved one, like number one or two. Um, sometimes it's called sport or sock weight. Maybe stay away from those. And then um, maybe also stay away from like the larger seven, six or sevens, which are a little more extreme. Your three and four might be your safest bet, um, just as far as the likelihood of them being able to use it. Uh, the next thing um, that you should know when buying yarn for your loved one is going to be the fiber content. Now, I know that my friend um, has a wool allergy. So immediately while I was looking at this sale, trying to pick her up some goodies, I knew like even though some of these, there were some really beautiful wools and very inexpensive, I just, I skipped over them. Those were not for her. I'm not going to get her something that she can't use. So um, know the fiber content. Even though alpaca is supposed to be hyperallergenic because of her wool allergy, I just stayed completely away um, from the alpaca too. Uh, but this kind of goes, not so much even just allergies, but um, there's a lot of different fiber contents and um, sometimes people just like some more than others. Um, maybe somebody really likes cotton yarn. If your loved one makes a lot of kitchen items, you know, cotton might be a good way for you to go as far as that. And if you're not sure, that information is on the label on the back. It'll tell you exactly what's inside. So you can look in their stash and see what they have. Um, or you can, and you can also look on the label in the store. So then that kind of goes along um, with the next thing is what types of projects do they make? You know, are they making a lot of um, baby items? Um, do they make a lot of baby blankets? Do they make wearables, the kitchen items, all that stuff? That should kind of dictate um, the, the yarn you're buying. And, you know, if you're not sure if, if you're buying, if you're not a yarny person and you're buying this for a yarny person, you know, a Google search can kind of tell you that too. Best yarns for baby blankets, things like that. So, um, those are really the most important things you need to know if you're trying to buy your loved one yarn. But I would say, um, I've kind of got an extra tip here and that would be to, maybe buy a couple yarns that are a little more luxurious than they would normally buy themselves. And now when I was putting together this gift, um, 
I was definitely picking out some funner yarns than than normal because it was such an extreme sale, um, which is totally fine. <clears throat> but you know, maybe your loved one always buys Red Heart Super Saver and they love that. That would be great. Maybe buy them a funner print. Um, but I guess when I mean a step more luxurious, you know, maybe just buy it um, something that they've been eyeballing but haven't bought because they don't want to spend the money on. That's kind of your clue right there. If they've picked it up in the store numerous times and uh, squeezed it and smelt it and loved it and then put it back on the shelf, that's probably the yarn that you need to buy them. So my final thought is also to put together while you're in the store making this gift, um, put together kind of a pleasing color palette for the gift. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be yarns that they would use together in the same project. Um, they can be different types, but just I think visually, you know, you got to think of it like you're giving a floral bouquet to someone, um, but it's a bouquet of yarn, which we might like even better. Um, but you do, you want it to maybe just look cohesive and pleasing to the eye, um, just to give it that little extra something. So I am going to go ahead and turn up my camera around. This is like a super informal video today. I just wanted to kind of pop on. Um, I'm going to go to work and I'm going to give my friend her gift. So I didn't have a lot of time. It was late last night. Um, but I just thought maybe this would be good information to share um, while I have it. And if you're watching my video, video, you're probably a very yarny person, so you already know all this. But it might be good to save and then share it um, with your loved one closer to like your birthday or a holiday or something. So anyway, um, I'm kind of a little bit hesitant about putting this on here because I know my friend watches my videos, but... Um, this is something that I had so much fun buying. It was a lot of fun for me and like trying to find something that um, would be kind of fun and frivolous and that she would like. So by the time this, um, you know, airs or goes live or whatever it's called is posted, she will have already received this. <clears throat> so it won't be, it won't be awkward or anything. But anyway, let's look at the yarn I bought for her. All right, so here is my little bundle. And this is kind of an exception because there is such a good sale going on. And my friend doesn't live in, under a rock. She knows about this sale. So I'm not gonna worry about the price tags or anything like that um, because she knows there's amazing deals. And she would probably be annoyed if I bought yarn that wasn't on sale right now. So the first yarn that I kind of picked out here for her was this um, amazing unicorn yarn. Um, it's, it's got metallic and unicorn colors and white in there. Um, it is a cotton acrylic blend. Um, so this is probably, you know, probably a bit frivolous, you would say, um, but it is just, it's just fun. And I feel like this is something she wouldn't necessarily purchase for herself um, because it is such a specialty yarn. Um, you know, it's not like a utility yarn that's going to go with everything. And I also know that my friend does a lot of baby garments. Um, I know she is drawn to purple colors. Um, I know that she does a lot for her grandkids. So I kind of wanted to stick um, in this whole fun theme after I found this amazing um, unicorn. So um, I did get also for fun um, this, uh, what do they call this? The Snuggle Up, a mint and a purple. And, um, you know, I only got two of these in two different colors as accent because it is definitely a novelty yarn that not everyone wants to work with or has a use for, but she could definitely make a headband, um, you know, or something really fun for one of the granddaughters out of that. Um, and for that price, I mean, come on. Um, so the next thing I got was this Soft and Sleek DK, and this was the only one left in the store. And I can see why, because it feels amazing. Like, it is crazy, crazy soft. It does look like it was manhandled a little bit here, but like I said, she knows about the sale, so that will be just fine. 
Um, and it's a little bit darker than some of the other things in this color palette, but um, it does definitely kind of coordinate with the unicorn. Um, and it, it's just a very pretty color. So I thought that would be just fine. I've got this cotton right here, the Tweed Indeed. Um, I think it's actually a cotton blend. Yes, um, it feels really amazing. And uh, the color here, it is blush. So it's a little bit more of a pink, but it's got some different, um, like the specks are like a plum and a darker pink. And <clears throat> I thought again, it went great with this color palette. Kind of breaks it up. <clears throat> it's not all solids or anything. Then I got, this is a little bit more what I would call a like a nice, look, more of a luxurious utility yarn. So it is a DK 44th Street Pale Aqua. It's an acrylic blend and 540 yards because it is a three weight. So this is just beautiful and the price was beautiful. Um, and it really, even though it says it's pale aqua, it goes really, really well with this mint. Um, so they had two of them, so I picked up both of those. The last yarn, well, I'll show you this since it's on top. They had these cute little yarn ball tape measures. Um, and I know I love having a tape measure handy, and I really like these kind of the little button that, um, it sucks the tape back up into it so you're not winding it up so I grabbed us both one of these and it's even better that it kind of blends in with the color palette so I was excited about that um, the last yarn here is also a cotton DK and I just went with white because white will you know will definitely go and it's again it's a hundred percent cotton it visually, um, I think, goes great with the unicorn, even though they're two different sizes of yarn. And she probably would not use these in the same project. Um, I am aware that she does use DK yarn, and she's fine with that. So I felt good about getting it. And it would just go with everything. Um, but it, it is just more of a pleasing to the eye color palette. You know, nothing sticks out. Um, everything flows together. You know, it might not be your particular um, cup of tea, what your color palette might be, um, but it definitely all blends. Like I said, I'm trying to do like a floral arrangement, but a yarn arrangement. Thank you very much for talking yarn with me today. I do appreciate it. And I, um, I know this was a little bit choppier and a little bit shakier because this is not my normal style of filming, but I appreciate you sticking with me. And I hope you enjoyed my yarn haul here and my gift yarn. And I hope if you are a non-yarny person, trying to buy a yarny person a gift that this has helped you out so thanks so much I appreciate it you guys